This video will serve as a guide to priming and starting the engine on models 182T, T182T, and models 172R and 172S. It is the intent of this video to aid in the prevention of overpriming the engine. Engine overpriming can lead to a flooded engine that is difficult to start or eventually costly repairs to the fuel servo from fuel residue contamination. The engine priming and starting procedure is located in the pilot's operating handbook, section four, or in the pilot's checklist, normal procedures, and should be strictly adhered to. The typical method to prime the engine before attempting a start begins with the throttle control opened one quarter inch, the mixture control pulled full out to the idle cutoff position and the master switch on. Turn the fuel pump switch to the on position. Push the mixture control to the full forward position and monitor the fuel flow indicator gauge. When stable fuel flow is indicated, immediately pull the mixture control to idle cutoff, the full aft position, and turn the fuel pump off. Stable fuel flow happens in approximately three to five seconds after moving the mixture control to the full rich position and is indicated by a steady needle or indicator bug. To start the engine, turn the magneto switch to start and smoothly advance the mixture control to rich when the engine starts. There are special instructions that should be followed when priming in hot or cold weather. These instructions can be found in the POH section four Amplified Normal Procedures Engine Priming and Starting in Hot Weather Priming the engine for the first engine start of the day should be done using the typical procedure explained earlier. However, engine priming may or may not be required depending upon how soon the next start is attempted. Within the first 20 to 30 minutes after shutdown, the fuel manifold is adequately primed and no priming should be needed. After 30 minutes, the vaporized fuel in the manifold will have nearly dissipated and priming will be needed. Starting a hot engine is facilitated by advancing the mixture control promptly to one-third open when the engine starts and smoothly move to full rich as power develops. Engine priming in cold weather. In cold weather, especially when temperatures are below 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative six degrees Celsius, Use the external preheater and an external power source whenever possible. Use the typical priming procedure for the first engine start. In cold weather, the engine compartment temperature drops off rapidly following engine shutdown and the engine nozzle lines remain nearly full of fuel. If the next engine start is within the first 20 to 30 minutes after shutdown, the fuel manifold is adequately primed and no priming will be needed. However, after 30 minutes, Use the typical procedure to prime the engine. To start the engine, turn the magneto switch to start and smoothly advance the mixture control to rich when the engine starts. If the engine is primed too much, the engine is said to be flooded. If this happens, place the mixture control in idle cutoff. Open the throttle control one half to full and engage the starter motor. When the engine starts, advance the mixture control to the full rich position and retard the throttle control promptly. In conclusion, the key to preventing over priming the engine is to closely monitor the fuel flow indicator. When stable fuel flow is indicated, immediately pull the mixture control to the full aft position and turn the fuel pump off.